Hello everyone. In this session, I will walk you through a brief introduction into macros in FECO followed by an example. So the outline for this uh, session is just to give you an overview of macros in FECO and we'll look at an example of a patch antenna with an edge port and we'll see how uh, a complex task like creating an edge port on a patch antenna can be simplified by using a macro in FECO and I can give you like a small demonstration on it. So as uh, Evan mentioned, um, Lua scripting is integrated into both CADFECO and POSFECO and it is extended uh, as a built-in functionality in both CADFECO and POSFECO. With scripting, you can automate repetitive or complex tasks. There are three different uh, types. Uh, when it comes to scripting. So you can, of course, write your own scripts by using the script editor. You can also record uh, macros by doing the steps manually in FECO and FECO automatically creates the script for you by using the record macro option. And the third functionality that we have is some of the predefined macro scripts uh, that we offer in FECO. So those scripts come under the application macro option. So with the application macro option, of course, you can perform certain tasks faster. So the application macro that uh, it can be found from the home tab in FECO. So when you go to home uh, scripting, you can find the application macro setting here in the application macro uh, option. You also have a macro library. Um, so what is a macro library? A macro library is a place where you can find all of the predefined scripts that we offer within FECO. But along with that, you can also create and store your own scripts. So let's say if you have to perform a certain task that is repetitive in nature um, and you wanted to automate that, you can write a script for it and you can also save it in the application macro library. So that way you can easily access it whenever needed. Um, there are a couple of different types of scripts, uh, predefined scripts that are offered in the macro library. We'll have a look at those in a bit. Uh, but we also have example guide models re readily available here. Uh, so in FECO, we have an excellent example guide, which has different types of examples, starting from antenna design to a bit more complex examples, like placing the antenna onto a large structure and so on. Um, so you can access all of those models very easily by going to the application macro and just uh, clicking on example guide and you can locate all of the example guide models through the scripting um, in that particular option. So the application macro, um, it is or it can be used for both. It's available for both CAD FECO as well as post FECO. Um, some of the more common macros are creating user configurations. So instead of manually creating configurations, you can use uh, the macro to create configurations and ask FECO to create as many configurations as needed. Um, you can also generate antenna arrays. You can compare CAD FECO models, which can be a very useful uh, application. Like if you have a, two models and they need comparison, um, you can use this application macro and compare two models. Um, then we have the create edge port on a finite substrate macro that we'll be looking at during the example. And uh, the example guide models, as well as some of the other CAD FECO application macros. In post FECO as well, we have a couple of application macros, um, for example, evaluation of MIMO performance, multiport, post-processing. You can also plot interference matrix uh, and so on. So do check those out as well. So a quick demonstration of how you can access the application macro. I'll quickly minimize that. So once you launch FECO, 
let's open a new CAD FICO session. So from the home tab, you can go to the scripting options that we have here. So first is our script editor. This is where you could manually um, create your scripts. You could also optionally, as Evan mentioned, record macros. So you can do manual steps in FECO and ask FECO to record these steps. And while recording, it actually records um, the steps in terms of a script that can be reused again. And then we have your application macro. So in the application macro, you have your macro library here. So the micro library is nothing but a collection of all of the scripts and you can also add your own scripts here. So for example, let's say that I have a test script that I want to use repetitively. I can simply go to add and let's say I go to browse and I quickly add my test Lua script. We can label it as test. You can also change the icons and the add. I think I added it multiple times, but there you go. So next time when you want to use your script, you can simply go to application macro and then run your script using this play icon right here and FECO will run the script for you. So similarly, you can add as many um, uh, scripts as needed in this particular library. And once you've added that to the library, if I go to the application macro, I'll be able to see the test script that I've added. Uh, so similarly, you can add your own scripts and they can be easily accessed using the application macro uh, functionality right here. Moving back. So we'll look at an example of a patch antenna with an edge port. Now the complexity of creating an edge port with a patch antenna is that when we create these edge ports, um, we have to make sure that they're created between two or more faces that share a common edge, of course, and also that the respective edge must be surrounded by uniform dielectric options. So that is um, one of the things that we have to keep in mind while creating an edge port. And which is why, um, when we are working with patch antennas, or this could be any kind of antenna actually, uh, where, you, where you want to create an edge port, uh, but the area is such that uh, it is not entirely uniform uh, in nature, like um, the medium that is surrounding the port is not uniform in nature. So in these kind of situations, what happens is you either extend the dielectric to cover the edge, or you can remove a small piece of the dielectric below the edge such that um, your port is the area below the port uh, has a small hollow cavity or the third option can be that you elevate the edge slightly as can be seen in the image three uh, such that that edge is slightly above the dielectric substrate so these are the different options that we have in order um, to model an edge port without any issues in FECO. So now imagine having to do this um, by hand. It might take some extra steps in trying to create this hollow box and then removing uh, or subtracting that particular area from this hollow box. Um, so in order to uh, just reduce the um, number of steps that goes behind this or re reduce the effort into this, we have uh, the macro that can help in creating ports, um, edge ports for these kind of antennas for finite substrates. So when we go to application macro, you can go to ports and connectors. In ports and connectors, you can find this macro that says create edge port for finite substrate. And this is what the macro actually looks like. For this macro to work, um, 
you would have to specify three different points, your point A, point B, and point C. This figure clearly shows what the point A, point B, and the point C should look like. So what um, this particular macro will do is that it creates basically an edge port on a finite substrate. It, it, uh, it uses three defined name points in the model. Uh, so that it can identify where the edge port will be located. And in order to do that, FECO will remove a small cuboidal section and it will create like a bow tie PEC structure that we can see on uh, in the image on the right. And to this bow tie structure, an edge port is created to the center of the bow tie structure. And then onto this bow tie structure center, you can basically place uh, the edge port and add a voltage source. So if we look at the image, uh, the first image, it just shows your patch antenna and it has this thin strip. Um, and we want to create like an edge port in the center of this strip. So by using this macro, what it will do is it will create like a small cavity under this uh, port that we that we have here. And in that way, uh, there will be like a constant dielectric around the region where the port actually exists. So if we did not have this macro, you would just have to do like a couple of steps uh, by hand, uh, which would increase the complexity of this uh, particular model. So let's look um, quickly at a demo for this. Let me share my screen. All right, and let's say I want to create an edge port in the center of this strip. Now, one of the prerequisites for creating this um, port is that you need to have named points. So the way you can do that is by going to construct and um, sorry, by going to construct and you can add point. So when you add, click on add point, you can add a couple of points at the distance uh, or at the location where you want to create the port at. So once we have uh, these points, FECO needs three points in order to create uh, this edge port. We'll go to the home tab under application macro, select the create edge port for finite substrate option. And then we can specify our points. So let's say our point A is point one, point B is named point two, and point C is named point three. You can also specify the uh, edge port width by either using lambda, or by uh, using the points A, B. And you can also specify uh, the value of lambda over a number. And additionally, you can ask FECO to create a voltage source. So that also reduces one extra step. And let's click on create. So we can see that our port has been created. So at, at a first glance, you might uh, think that uh, there's nothing extra that has been created. If we go to the display options and let's say we reduce the opacity a bit, you can see this cuboidal structure that has been created. It's nothing but a small cavity. So similarly, you can create this edge port with any kind of antennas or to any of the structures wherever uh, an edge port is needed and FECO will create this automatically for you using the macro application. So in the same way, we also have a lot of predefined application uh, macro scripts. Um, feel free to have a look at these. And if you have any questions, we would be happy to answer the questions for you. So that would be it for my session. Thank you very much for listening.